Hi, I'm Dan Lopez, Principal Solution Consultant at Aviva, and today I'm excited to show you just how easy it is to get started with an Aviva adapter, collecting real-time data from a real-world data source, in this case, an MQTT broker. I'll get started with a singular Docker command to build a container that's going to run this Aviva adapter software, and it's going to go ahead and connect that data source for me and allow that data to be sent to an Aviva Pi system so that all these values that I see here can be trended and displayed within Aviva Pi Vision. So with that container created, I'll now connect to it and configure this newly uploaded Aviva software to target that specific MQTT broker and start collecting data items. Once I'm in my terminal, connected to my container with a single command using the Aviva Edge command utility, I'll apply to this new adapter all of the essential configuration and just a single command that it needs to do those connections and start writing data. And I can actually see what I just uploaded with a get application command. I can see that what gets returned is the address of my destination Pi server, information on how to connect to that broker and extract data items. And then sure enough, if I do a search for MQTT, yep, I can have a brand new data item right here and I can drag and drop it onto my PyVision dashboard and see it appear with a live value that's gonna update as new values get generated out on the MQTT broker. And I can even see historical readings too. If I create a simple trend and change the time range, and I can see this update dynamically. As live data values change on my data source, they'll be gathered by that Aviva adapter and here written to my Pi system so that I can begin to analyze and investigate them in real time. And all this was done live in just a handful of seconds thanks to the amazing capabilities of Aviva adapters, taking all of that data, running within a container, and now with that single command, uploading all the configuration that I needed to allow it to connect to this data source, create the new Pi tag on the destination Aviva Pi server, and start archiving that data for me. Now, with the 2023 release, we're excited about how we can expand on the already amazingly powerful abilities of Aviva adapters, and now add real-time failover to make sure that this real-time data is always collected regardless of whether one or two nodes within a failover group are temporarily offline. So what I've done is I've duplicated that configuration. I've created a brand new second container, and I'm going to set up both of these Aviva adapters to run as a failover pair. You're going to see just how easy and straightforward this is. On my second container, I'll do that same command that I just ran earlier edge command set application to upload all the needed configuration to this adapter so that it can start connecting to that data source and gathering live values. And now I'll run a new second command to set the client failover configuration. And this is going to tell that adapter to join a failover group to make sure that there's always at least one adapter constantly running, making sure that I am getting those live data values that I need for my critical decisions. And sure enough, you can see with that single command, it's done. This adapter has been assigned to that failover group and it's now in the primary role. So to add the other adapter, I'll go to it in its own container, run the same command to apply failover configuration, and now it's going to join that same group. And with there already being a primary, when I try to check the failover status for this second adapter, I'll now see that it's assumed the secondary backup role within that failover group. And this is going to make sure that even if one of them needs to be brought down for Windows updates, or if it happens to go down due to a hardware issue, that data will always continue to be collected. And the important thing is that this is going to happen without user intervention. If I'm basing critical decisions on top of this data, that kind of failover will always occur without a human having to manually switch between those nodes. And I can absolutely show what this looks like. I've got both of those sets of adapter software installed on two different containers. So if I deleted the primary one, if I destroyed the primary adapter, I should continue to see data collected without me having to intervene in any way. So that's exactly what I'll do. I'll go back to my containers and I'll check to make sure that I've got proper statuses on all of them. Yep, this is my primary and I'll go ahead and delete it. And so now the primary is going to disappear. It's no longer able to collect that real time data. However, the secondary is part of that failover group. This is something that we're adding now in the 2023 release. It's now going to detect that the primary no longer exists, and it is going to automatically, without me having to enter in any commands, it's going to assume the primary role. 
So now if I go back to that uh, Docker configuration, take a quick look at its failover state, I'll now see the one that used to be secondary has now assumed that primary role. And it's gonna go ahead and start guaranteeing that continuous data collection. And sure enough, you can see those values have arrived. And we're excited to show how this new capability of adding failover to the amazingly powerful adapter framework from Aviva can really make sure that when folks are using this to collect data, whether it's from edge devices or fleets of distributed assets out in the wild, that they always have that critical data that they need to base their data-driven decisions. And you can see that I did that with this single file, configure client failover.json, with that single command was all I needed to turn that single adapter into a pair. Now, if you're new to Aviva technology and want to learn more, there's some amazing resources out there on our webpage that we highly recommend you check out. And of course, if you're an existing Aviva user and want to get started with these amazing capabilities of Aviva adapters, please reach out to us. We look forward to having those conversations with you. Thank you very much.